Hi, my name is Serena and I'm 30 years old. I live in Vancouver. Three days ago, I woke up and decided to leave my job. I've been working in the beauty industry for the last four years almost as a senior marketing manager. Um, before that, I just did freelance marketing and I was a yoga teacher for restorative and yin yoga for a few years before that. So health and uh, natural beauty, actually I'm an advocate for and nothing against like plastic surgeries or anything like that but um, I think there's chemicals in plastic surgery but we won't get into that <laughs> um, so every day we are consuming so many chemicals that we don't choose to or you know in all these products so uh, 19 weeks ago I developed my own product and the reason behind it was that I used to be an air cadet when I was like 12, 13, because my mom wanted me to have discipline. I don't think I learned discipline, but I learned a bunch of other random stuff, like how to survive in the snow or how to fly a plane. Um, so we used to have to wear these like really elaborate uniforms and gel our hair. And that was like my least favorite thing to do because um, it would get like so hard and I had to wash it off and go to bed super late. Um, so I was doing a Latin dance training and a lot of Latin dancers, they do have to gel their hair. So I thought, um, unlike street dance where I dance with my hair and like flail it around. Um, so that's when I decided like, what if I made a natural hair gel that doesn't have any chemicals in it, um, that people can wear it as long as they can and even like as a hair mask while it's in your hair. So I looked it up and actually this didn't exist yet. So I put together a few of my favorite uh, ingredients and I, you know, I put together a few of my favorite ingredients and I, <laughs> and we've been testing it out on people they love it um, they used it for a bunch of different things because all the ingredients are help uh, help your hair and your skin so it's very healing product smells good um, so I had a friend that I've known since I was like 15 uh, not really like close with but he helps startups get into like bigger brands and raise capital and put it into the stock market and everything um, so I messaged him I wasn't sure if he was gonna like say yes but I was like hey do you want to look at my business plan and he's like sure I didn't have a business plan and I've never written one in my life so I took Adderall and spent two weeks in my couch writing this business plan. I of course seeked out amazing help from my god sister and brother who are very experienced in raising capital and also I looked at Airbnb's uh, business plan for inspiration and he loved my business plan. But um, I think there's some complications with like approaching investors too early in the project. So um, We'll wait and see how that goes. We just registered my baby hair gelato on November 11th. 11 and 11 is when I registered my baby. Um, so the name hair gelato, uh, actually I met these guys at a strip club, but <laughs> they were telling me that they recently helped this other local like health business get into the market. So I saw their truck driving around promoting, and as you know, I was a promoter. And so I, I thought like, okay, so there's a truck they're driving to all these like events and stuff. And I thought like, what if I had an ice cream truck to promote my product and drive around to events? Cause that sound like the song from the ice cream truck is so catchy and um, gives everybody a good memory. Everybody loves ice cream truck. So I actually helped like another big brand uh, do kind of some marketing and promoting in a food truck one. So it totally is like doable. So I thought like hair gel, hair gel, hair gelato because gelato is a little bit creamier and um, so is my product. It's a little bit creamier than hair gel. It's like moisturizing. It has that coconut like creaminess in there. So. I came up with hair gelato. As I was writing my business plan, I realized like hair gelato is HG for short. And HG is my friend, my best friend who passed away. And he taught me like so much about business and entrepreneurship. Uh, I think about him all the time. He's like taught me about Bitcoin in like 2015. I think he was a genius. Um, and I was so happy to see that like he was a part of my 
baby <laughs> and he's here to you know that's really special so i made the logo with the initials hg and a palm tree because coconuts i think come from a palm tree <laughs> and he's from la and there's a palm tree in la so i'm definitely going to do some promoting there too because it's the product's great for sunburns so i wanted to start this channel not that i i hate like club chasing and like wanting to self-promote and be famous or whatever but i really want to document my journey to creating this product because i thought it would be really interesting like what happens when this girl woke up one day and left her corporate job to start her own journey with like no plans <laughs> or experience but we have a great product so the funny thing about these jars this is the product so glass jars, environmentally friendly. I originally had thought to put them into little ice cream things, like little ice cream, like those cardboard, uh, cardboard paper slash plastic, those things. But um, we couldn't get them from China because pandemic. So these are all weed jars actually. And the quality is insane. It's child locked, it's amazing. Um, I wanted the label to be like really simple we do have a his and hers this is his um, which is made with orange blossom actually 63 percent of men complain about hair loss so probably because they wear that gel all the time um so thank you to everyone who's been helping me with the marketing uh shooting hair gelato modeling testimonials and everything it's been amazing and it looks really good. I'm really excited. We could present it to the investors or I've been told that maybe it's a little too early to go find investors. So we started like doing some sales and doing some collaborations with like local artists and local kind of content creators. So I hope you enjoy my story and follow me on my journey on creating hair gelato. And um, 